Hello all, welcome back. We're finally in a new chapter. This time we'll get to play with the magnetic field instead of the electric field only. Uh, so let's get started. Our statement today reads, a particle of charge Q enters a region of uniform magnetic field B pointing into the page. The field deflects the particle a distance D above the original line of flight, as shown in the diagram. Is the, is the charge positive or negative? In terms of A, D, B, and Q, find the momentum of the particle. So let's look at the diagram. We see that on the left-hand side, we have the particle Q with the velocity pointing right going into the field region where it deflects. You see how it deflects upward, almost in a circular path uh, from the runway A up to height D. Okay, so to solve this problem, we need to know a couple of things. The force that the magnetic field applies onto the uh, charge Q is equal to Q times V cross B. And the cyclotron formula, which gives us the momentum in terms of Q, B, and R. Um, so to start, let's examine what the cross product says in reference to the force. If we take V cross B, this says that we have the magnitude of V cross B times the new direction. Since V was pointing to the right, indicated by the arrow, we're taking the cross product of that with the magnetic field direction, which is pointing into the page. So if you use the right-hand rule, that gets you a resultant vector pointing upwards. This is important because now we can compare this cross product with the result of the diagram and see what is uh, true about the charge. So since the cross product is in the same direction as the diagram, this implies that Q must be positive because we have the direction from the analytic and we have the diagram. Uh, so then those two have to agree. The only way that's true is if the charge is positive. Otherwise, if the charge was negative, the diagram would indicate that it's pointing the other way, and it's not. So, we use a little bit of intuition to solve that. Before moving on to the next step, uh, let's draw a diagram of what we expect this radius to be. So, we just take a point in space, and we uh, draw a line perpendicular to the curve. That's our radius. Uh, now, this radius must be consistent to all points, so we drop that down. Um, and so we have one vertical and one at an angle, and then we draw a perpendicular to the radius in the vertical direction, which gives us distance A. From this A, we know that that's going to change as the particle moves, and it will change upwards by a distance D, the elevation measured. We'll reference this diagram in order to solve uh, for the radius R. So moving forward, um, the reason why we need this is to find the momentum, we need to determine the radius of the particle's motion as stated by the formula. Um, and that's the whole point of drawing the diagram is now that we can, uh, now we can apply the Pythagorean theorem and solve for R as a uh, function of those other two parameters, A and D. So we see from uh, setting that up that R squared is equal to R minus D squared plus A squared. Then we'll just simplifying the left hand side and canceling through till we get to a final R, which is equal to A squared plus D squared over 2D. Um, and then just plug it in, P equal QBR. And uh, that leaves us with a momentum of QB times A squared plus B squared all over 2D.